Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now in this video, mobile network operator EE very kindly asked me to have a look at the Samsung Galaxy S6. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the main features, giving you my opinion, and also taking a closer look at EE's Wi-Fi cooling feature. So let's take a closer look. So let's start by having a look at the physical aspects, specifications, and the build quality of the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now what we've got here is a smartphone measuring just over 143 millimeters in height, 70.5 millimeters in width, and a very impressive 6.8 millimeters thickness. And you can see from this side profile that Samsung really have stepped up their game. We've got a nice metal rim around the edges of the smartphone. Across the bottom edge, we've got a three and a half millimeter audio jack, the micro USB charging socket, microphone and speaker. Along the right hand edge, we've got the SIM card tray and also the power on off button. Across the top edge, we've got an IR blaster and a secondary microphone. And last but not least on the left edge, we have got the volume up and down buttons. Now, if we move back around to the front, you'll see this gorgeous display. This uses super AMOLED technology. It's a 5.1 inch display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560 pixels. And that resolution gives a pixel density of 577 PPI. If I show you this close up, you'll see that the text is pin sharp. It is a beautiful display, very evenly lit, and I just like looking at it. It is a pleasure to actually look at this display for both media consumption, social networking, web browsing, anything that you're using this display on, you'll be very impressed indeed. Now moving on to some of the other specifications, this has a Android 5.0.2 Lollipop operating system out of the box with an upgrade to 5.1.1. Inside, we've got an octa-core processor in a twin quad-core configuration. One of those quad cores is running at 1.5 gigahertz and the other one's running at 2.1 gigahertz. Now, we've also got three gigabytes of RAM. When it comes to storage, you can't upgrade the memory on this. There's no memory card slot. And you can choose from 32 gigabytes of storage, 64 gigabytes, or 128 gigabytes. Now, if we move around the back, we can have a quick look at the camera. This is a 16 megapixel camera with an LED flash and autofocus. I'll show you some of the photos I took with it in a short while. Some of the other camera features include geotagging, touch focus, face detection, auto HDR, and a panorama mode. When it comes to capturing video, of course you can capture full HD video, but this also supports 4K resolution video up to 30 frames per second. Back around to the front, and we've got a very impressive front-facing camera as well. This is a five megapixel front-facing camera, ideal for capturing those selfies. Now I mentioned that I was gonna show you some photos and video that I captured with the Galaxy S6. Let's go into my app tray, into the gallery, and these are some of the photos and videos I captured earlier. Now this first one was actually captured in the studio with no studio lights on, this is just natural light, and the actual amount of detail here is fantastic. The color rendition is more or less spot on, very minimal noise as well, a good result there. And then this next one is not quite macro, but it shows that you can get nice and close to your subject. And again, it attains a nice focus, very quick to focus as well, and a nice bit of blur going on, and depth of field in the background. The next one, I always take this with smartphones nowadays just to test color accuracy. And this compares very nicely to what I'm seeing with the naked eye, very good uh, color rendition. And then this one here, another close up and shows a nice bit of sort of background blur. And then this one here, look at the detail in the fur of Milo, very impressive indeed. This is a gorgeous photo and a really impressive result. Now, if we go all the way across to the left, I'm gonna play you back this video that I captured in 4K resolution. Boy. So now let's move on to talk about performance, battery life, and also that EE Wi-Fi cooling feature. So let's talk about battery life first of all. Now, a lot of people, when they heard about the Samsung Galaxy S6 being announced, were very, very disgruntled that there was no user replaceable battery in here. 
Now that is a shame admittedly, but the battery inside is a 2550 milliamp hour battery and it's perfectly adequate to get you through a whole day on medium to heavy use. With regards to performance, I'm gonna run Geekbench 3 for you and you'll see that the Samsung Galaxy S6 turns in a very good result. And that's just to satisfy all of those who like these benchmark ratings. For the most of us, we never run a benchmark tool. We're just gonna use the phone for all of our daily tasks and for opening up apps, switching between applications, multitasking, social media, using that camera, uh, web browsing, etc. The Galaxy S6 is a superb performer with very, very minimal lag. Now I mentioned also to you about a Wi-Fi calling feature. Now this is something that EE have just launched. If we go into our phone dialer and then we tap on more at the top and then go into settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see we've got this Wi-Fi calling option with a little toggle tick that we can put into this box. Put the tick in the box and that turns Wi-Fi calling on. There's no additional app to install. And what this now means is that if you're in a remote area or an area that hasn't got perfect cellular network coverage, we can still use our regular dialer and send and receive texts, make phone calls to other smartphones without the need of cellular network coverage. We can use our Wi-Fi connection to actually make and take those calls and to send messages. That is an amazing feature and I just really do welcome that as an addition to the Samsung Galaxy S6 it's also being introduced to other smartphones on the EE network as well. So what's my overall opinion of the Samsung Galaxy S6? Well, first of all, the screen. Absolutely gorgeous, uniformly lit, beautiful colours, great resolution, just superb for consuming media. We've also got the fact that Samsung really did step up their game with regards to build quality. This is a premium smartphone worthy of its flagship status and it just feels superb in the hand. Now the highlight for me has to be this 16 megapixel camera. It is just absolutely superb, captures great detail, amazing colours. You just won't be disappointed with either the photos or the videos that you capture with this smartphone. It's a very compelling package, and if you're looking for something that is really a superb all-round offering that you will not be disappointed with, it's well worth considering. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sure you'll agree that the Samsung Galaxy S6 certainly does offer up some great features and build quality. If you want to check out the rest of EE's range, check out the links in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.